So the equipment we need uh, to carry out this reversible reaction, um, some water, uh, a boiling tube, some blue copper sulfate, um, clamp stand, Bunsen burner and spatula. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to get your um, boiling tube and attach it to the, to the clamp. What you have to make sure you do is you clamp it near the, the neck of the, the tube. Uh, you don't want it too far down because you're going to be heating it this side. And also you can see you want it at a slight angle. So if anything does come out of there, you know which direction it's going to move in. Um, once you've attached your um, boiling tube, you'll then take your copper sulfate and then you'll use your spatula and you will fill in carefully. Okay. Two spatula fulls of copper sulfate. Being careful not to drop it. Okay. Once you've done that, just make sure uh, that the clamp is tight before the next step of heating it. So you want to make sure it's on a safety flame first. So this valve at the bottom is closed. Then you turn it so you get a nice roaring flame. And then you place it under your test tube to start to heat the copper sulfate. So now the, the uh, copper sulfate has gone white, you need to move the Bunsen away and turn, turn it off. So now you need to leave it and let it cool for about three minutes. While you're doing that, you can draw the apparatus and show what you've done. Okay, so now we want to reverse the change and so we're going to add some water. So fill a pipette up and then you want to add the water to the copper sulfate. And you can see the colour the blue colour has returned and you don't want to add too much otherwise it will become a solution and, and ruin the experiment.